Greetings, HP Touchpad users. This is Reverend Kyle, your Minister of Mobile Devices, and in this video, I will be demonstrating how to install a new recovery module, and it's called Team Wins Recovery Project 2.0, or as I like to refer to it, Twerp 2.0. Uh, Team Win has basically taken the clockwork recovery concept and has made a touch GUI uh, for it, and uh, I find this to be uh, a very uh, much needed uh, interface for that. And so we're going to install that on my HP touchpad now. Uh, there will be a link in the video description to the Team Win webpage, and from there you can select the HP touchpad as your device and then download the zip file. Ironically, we are going to use Clockwork Recovery to install this on our touchpad. Uh, afterwards, I'm going to demonstrate for you how to remove the Clockwork Recovery so as to uh, get rid of the redundancy. That is a step that is uh, optional. Uh, you can choose to keep them both. Uh, I, for one, uh, would like to see it go away and have uh, twerp replace it completely. So let me show you what I've done so far. I'm going to go into ES File Explorer and show you that I have the file. Uh, it is already on the root of my device and so it's just as simple as booting into recovery. So I'm going to hold down my power button and do reboot into recovery. In case anybody is wondering, uh, this is not version specific, so it doesn't matter which version or which build or which ROM of Android that you are on, uh, this should work just fine for you. So here is our uh, standard clockwork recovery, and uh, let me just see if I can... There we go, a little focused. Okay, so we are going to go in to install zip from SD card. Now, as usual, I'm using my volume up and down buttons to select, and I'm using the home, physical home button as my enter. So I'll hit enter, and I'm going to choose zip from SD card, and then I'm going to go down and find it. Now, it is on the root, so I should and it's right there actually, update uh, twerp tenderloin 2.0 0RC0 signed. Uh, mine has a 1 on it, that's okay. Alright, so I'm going to select this and I'm going to say yes. And that's it. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to choose reboot system now. Okay, so now on my MoBoot screen, I now have my Boot WebOS, and now I have Boot Twerp, uh, also having Boot Clockwork Mod. If I were to go back into Clockwork Mod, that's where we just were. But let's see what Twerp looks like. So far, so good. Very nice. I like that startup screen. Okay, so here is the uh, twerp interface. Uh, this is, like I said, touch screen. So we can see what options we have here. I'm going to go into settings. And uh, it looks like there's a couple options here. Uh, you can, time zone, okay. Uh, it does look like there is an interface up top for a home and a back. I'll just use the back button. Seems to work okay. Home. Uh, let's go into advanced. And uh, we'll just hit home. Okay, so that works. There's also what appears to be a console. Okay, so that's looking for something here. Um, I don't believe that that is working for me. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with it. It just it looks like it's looking for backups, which I don't have any currently. So that makes sense. I also notice on the screen here, and I'm going to go home. Okay, well, it does appear to be at this point. Oh, there we go. Okay, it just took a moment. It shows my battery level and the time, and that's uh, 
and I don't know if you can see it on the video or not, but that's kind of handy. Uh, let me take a look at backup. Let's go into backup. So it looks like I can uh, do a backup. Uh, one of the things that this uh, program uh, claims to have is that um, it uses uh, compression and uh, it actually takes advantage of the multi-core processor in our device uh, for faster compression time. Uh, compression uh, can be handy if you have a large uh, backup and so that's something that I will definitely take a look at in the future. It also shows that you have different options in terms of backing up. I'm not going to do a backup right now though. Alright, so uh, let's hit home and it looks like there is a very simple reboot and I will choose that and then it's telling me the different options that I have. Uh, I'm just going to do system. And just as I suspected, it takes me back into my MoBoot. Now, a little different here. I'm not going to go into Android. I'm actually going to go to WebOS so I can demonstrate for you how to remove the clockwork mod from your system. Now that we're back in the WebOS, uh, you'll notice that I am in portrait mode. Uh, you'll understand that in just a moment. Uh, I am going to go into my app drawer and I have Preware already pre-installed on this device. Uh, if you don't have Preware already installed on your device, I do have a video that demonstrates that called How to Root Your HP Touchpad in the WebOS. Uh, I encourage you to watch that and uh, be able to uh, follow these steps. If you do get any errors, just hit OK and move on. All right, so I'm going to go in and search. And what we're going to do is we're going to install a program called Internals. And Internals is spelled with a Z, and it does help if I type it correctly. Internals with a Z, and find that. Internals Pro, I'm sorry. And I'll select that, and I will install it. Uh, if it does ask for any other uh, packages to be installed or updated, go ahead and say yes to that. Uh, if it asks about having to restart anything, uh, say yes to that. Just be cooperative with it, and so we can get internals onto this device. Java restart required, and we'll say OK to that. All right, so now we should be able to launch the program. Register file handlers, again, will just uh, be agreeable and hit continue. It may take a moment. All right, here we go. This is the reason why we're in portrait mode. I have yet to be able to get this program to function in uh, landscape mode. It's probably just something I'm doing wrong. I apologize. Uh, we'll just move on. So the program by default takes us into media internal, and I don't know if you can see that on the video or not. Uh, media internal is basically your SD card. This is where all of your content, your um, uh, packages or videos or pictures or any of your content it all exists in here so if you want to get access to it uh, this would be where to get it. Uh, before we go any further we do need to set something in Internals Pro so I'm going to hit the uh, menu up at the top left hand corner and I'm going to go to preferences. In preferences uh, there is, and I see orientation now, um, but I've tried that before and it didn't work. Anyway, uh, down at the very, very bottom of this, there's something called Master Mode, and we do need to turn that on. A very scary message will come up saying about removing read and write and all this stuff. We're going to say yes to that. This is the equivalent of ES File Explorer being given root permissions and mounting the system. So once that's done, I can go back to my menu and hit Close. Now we need to get further back. We need to get to the root of our WebOS uh, file structure. So I'm going to use the double dot up here and hit that. And that takes you back one. So now we're in media. And I'm going to choose it one more time. And it takes you to what we call root. In root, you have a directory called boot. And I'm going to select that. Here is your boot folder and everything that's involved with booting both of your operating systems. In here is a uimage.clockwork mod. 
Now, that right there is what the uh, MoBoot finds and executes when you select it. So I'm going to tap that, and it gives me the option down here at the bottom to delete. So I'll delete that, and it'll ask, are you sure you want to delete? And I will say yes. And now it's deleted. So from here, I can close my uh, internals and close all of this, and uh, I'll just go in and reboot this, choose restart, and we'll see what we get now. So I will turn my device back into its normal position here, and with luck, we'll end up with a MoBoot screen that will not have the Clockwork mod. All right, well, let's see what we've got here. Let me fix this a bit. Okay, so what do we have? Well, let's see. We've got Boot WebOS, Boot Twerp, Boot Cyanogen Mod, WebOS Recovery, Reboot, and Shutdown. So we have successfully now uh, removed the Clockwork uh, Recovery from the MoBoot menu and from our device, and we've replaced it with the Twerp. And... Uh, I think that this is going to be my configuration until uh, uh, Team Win upgrades uh, this, and uh, I, I probably won't put Clockwork Recovery back on my device in the foreseeable future. And just to show you that everything is still working correctly, I will boot into my CyanogenMod Android, and uh, I believe that this will uh, be very helpful to a lot of you. Uh, the touch user interface for the Clockwork Recovery, um, or well, for the Team Win Recovery Project now, uh, is a, a happy uh, addition to our touchpad. And so I'm going to leave it at this. And uh, so this has been Reverend Kyle teaching you how to install the Team Win Recovery Project, or TWRP, onto your HP touchpad.